Morning, y'all. It's Julie, the Gulf Coast Stitcher. Today's Friday, October 5th. And the most exciting thing about today is A Star is Born is released to my local theater tonight. So, or today, but we're going tonight. Um, so I'm taking Sam and Sarah, my daughters, and neither of them have ever seen the previous versions of this movie. So they have, they're going into it completely, um, un- you know, not prejudicial. They have no preconceived ideas of what the story's about. And um, so that's going to be exciting. Um, it's Bradley Cooper's directing debut. He did a ton of training. He does all of his own vocals in it. And if Rotten Tomatoes is any indication, which I tend to agree with Rotten Tomatoes on most movies, um, when I checked this morning, it had a 99% rating. So that's super hard to do. So anyway, that's happening tonight. I will um, do, I'll try to do an Instagram live, uh, or maybe not live, I don't know what you call it, Instagram story, um, chronicling our adventures tonight. Um, Sarah's going to have to teach me how to do that a little better on my phone. Um, so yeah, so that's happening. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, first, let me just say... To everyone who's so super encouraging and supportive of how full my plate is and how much stuff I have to do and how you guys don't know how I get it all done, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it so, so much. I got some beautiful stitchy kindness this week. I received um, from Sarah, not my Sarah, but another Sarah. I won't use her last name because I don't know if it's okay. Um, but I received a lovely card and a Starbucks gift card, and she's passing the stash on something to me, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I try to remind myself when I'm completely anxiety-ridden because that happens quite regularly. And when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm losing sleep and I'm wanting to stress eat everything around me, I try to remind myself that the things that stress me out are what the, you know, those are the dreams of other people, um, of some other people, not every other person, obviously, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that I, like, I have absolutely no cause or reason to be stressed about having such a busy online business, because you know, I know there's people out there who are on the fence who are like, you know, I want to start a, a stitchy business or I want to start an online retail business or I want to do whatever else. But for whatever reason, they don't have the time or the means or whatever it is. Um, and they would love that opportunity. So I try to um, focus, refocus myself and remember to just eat my very next frog and not complain that I have too many frogs to eat because... Um, like with school, I am so blessed that I have such a supportive and wonderful man and family and my kids are great and do a lot for themselves that I'm able to go to five classes to finish my degree. Um, there were many, many lean years where I couldn't, I mean, I've been working on this degree for like 20 years because I had to work two jobs or I had to work 60 hours a week. Um, and I wasn't in the spot in my life where I could do that. So now that I can, like there are some days, specifically Tuesdays, because Tuesdays is finance, economics, and law, that I sit here before I have to go to school and the house is quiet and everybody's gone. And I'm like, I just want to play hooky today. I just want to get in the car and go sit somewhere quiet and read or stitch or just stay in my pajamas and then I remember like it's such a blessing and an honor to get to do this so I thank you for all the kind words and encouragement it certainly helps but um that's kind of my take on it so I have gotten a lot of stitching done I finished tis the season it is not ironed the light in here is weird because I'm sitting in the kitchen and it's surrounded by the porch so there's lots of natural light flooding in. I, I, we don't have, um, you know, we don't have any uh, shears or blinds or drapes or anything to block the view of the water because that would be stupid. But, um, 
I can't control that. So everything's done in the called for Belsois, except for the red bird is done in Belsois tulip and the red berries are done in a um, unnamed Victorian motto thread, which I love it. It's super bright, um, very bright Christmassy red. It's the card isn't marked, so I'm not sure what it is. Um, and I did that for the numbers as well. The only thing about this that I am not in love with that I need to fix is I did the English conversion. So I have a little extra like negative space here at the end. And I think that I'm going to just put another um, snowflake or maybe extend down some red berries here. I don't know. I'm not super great at eyeballing and recharting. Um, I am super envious of Lynette from Homesteading on the home front for her mad skills with that. Um, I've gotten lots of questions and comments on this fabric choice. This is 32 count stone um, Belfast by Zweigart. I believe the name of the stone has now been changed to nougat. So um, if your LNSs um, don't have stone, I think if you try, if they try to order it for you now, it comes up as nougat, but I love it. It's like a grayish. Um, it's pretty true to color on here. Also really enjoyed using this vanilla pudding. I think that's going to be one of my go-to um, whites. It's like white and accru mixed or variegated. I really like it. So I got that done. What else am I working on? Um, this is my current whip. This is Trick or Treat Row by Benton Creek. We've all seen it. We all know it. Um, I'm loving it. I am stitching this up so fast. I started it yesterday. I started today's Friday. I started this on Thursday. This is how far I've gotten. I have made a few changes and I'm doing nothing in the called for anything because I have so much stash. Between my shop and my floss club, I can find a conversion. So there's a couple little stray things that need to be snag nabbited. Um, I'm stitching this on 28 count um, laurel green from Zweigart, which is kind of like pear, I would say. Um, I love it. Love, love, love it. I do need, to, I had to frog a little bit, so there's a few strays. Um, what am I doing for the colors? Well, let me just tell you, since you asked. Black licorice. Why? I don't know. It's black. It's black black. It's it's a very good black. Um, it's a super black black. But I usually use Anchor. But I was digging through my fancy flosses and grabbed this when I kitted it up. So, um, Anchor black is going to be restocked at my shop today. It all came in. I just need to put it up. I don't carry all the Anchor flosses because, long story short, to order one skein, you have to order a case and or a 12-pack box. And... I have so much floss that I deal with for for floss club, but I am such a believer in the black that I do stock the black at all times because it's the best black. Um, for the candy corn, I'm using Victorian Motto's Sunflower Treasure, which is kind of squashy, which I like. And for the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern in the other part that's orange of the candy candy corn I'm using sweet potato number three from Victorian motto so you can see these together are super like oh they're so cute for the border for this part of the border the, the little lines area I'm using tiger's eye which is one of my very favorite flosses and I don't know if I've sent this out in floss club or not if you're in my floss club, let me know if I have done Tiger's Eye. I, I have to go back and look through my um, through my records to see if I've sent it in the previous months. But if not, I might have to throw it in because it is lovely. It's like, I don't even know. It, it just makes me think of all. And then for the letters. Okay, so the letter, the chart. On the chart, the letters are, the words are like four different colors, which I don't think you can tell a whole bunch in the picture. Maybe a little bit between like the M and the E, but 
I'm not enough to make me uh, feel like I want to switch my floss colors all that much. So I'm doing all of the words in Grapevine by Weeks. So you can see this is like a brown and black and grayish variegated. Um, that's pretty true to color right there. It's one of my favorites too. So that makes it simple. I cut the colors way down that way. Um, and I think on this laurel green, I'm struggling trying to get this off. Oh, and the white is grits because Deb Country Stitchers turned me on to grits and now it's my go-to. And I know I sent that one out in Floss Club because I loved it so much. So that's my color palette. So border words, candy canes, candy canes, my word, candy corns. So that's it, and I love it with a laurel green. So, as y'all remember, if you do remember my last week's video, I finished the Happy Christmas to All row, and Dan got me a, a one by six, one by six by like eight feet long, and we're gonna cut, um, we're gonna cut that down so that I can do a. Um, I'm gonna put it on foam core, then I'm gonna do some sort of fabric backing, mount it, and I'm gonna put it in this space like above the back door before you go outside in the living room I've got I don't know how much I've probably got like 10 or 11 inches six inches will fit in there great and then I can switch it out for the season so super excited about that I have a zillion other things whips I need to finish but this was calling to me in addition to this um, I already know what I'm gonna start next I have a problem you guys as my good girlfriend would say you're sick it's true. Um, I have all of this in. So I did a barter exchange with um, Stitching with the Dotson. I messaged her because I saw that she was into thrifting and into Dollar Tree finds and she was new into journaling. Well, I had so much journal stuff. So I was like, um, this is just sitting here getting no use. Let's minimalistic challenge this and get it out of the house. So I messaged her and said, hey, if you want all of this, send me your address. I'll send it to you. Make me something and send it back. Fair enough. I gave her no direction, no request. Just send me something in return and we'll call it a swap. And then you'll feel good about it and I'll get some happy mail and we'll be good. So um, she made a couple of project bags. I only have one here to show, but it's this amazing bird fabric. And if you guys remember way back, like floss tube, like two or three, maybe Robbie made me some really nice, um, napkins out of this same fabric, which I, I mean, I love it. You know, I love my birds. I love my birds. Um, so like washable reusable napkins and I have a matching project bag. So this is the theme. Like Robbie makes me something and then somebody else does that doesn't even know her. It's really crazy. Um, and then the interior fabric is blue and it's vinyl front and it's perfect. And I thank you so much. This was perfect. Um, and then she sent me a few other items too, which I didn't bring out, but that was perfect for my Bent Creek. Okay. Let's talk about Shaw Paul. Uh, before we talk about Shaw Paul, two more things about myself. I bought myself a lot more things because I have an um, enabler who will remain nameless, but I bought myself red. I don't know when this will ever happen, but um, I love her. Love her, love her, love her. Wish I could someday fit in that dress because it's amazing. Um, so I bought myself one of those. And then I bought one of these for Michelle because monkey see, monkey do. I'm doing it. She's going to do it. We may start this in Minnesota. I haven't committed to that yet because it takes a lot. I mean, it's going to, it's, I don't know how many flosses that is. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, like 35 or so um, flosses. But I... I ordered one of these for myself, not knowing if anyone else would ever want to stitch it. Michelle, um, this one is co coming to you in the mail. I'm just waiting on our embellishment packs to get here. It only 
for those of you who aren't like super confident with mirrors, um, it only takes four, four different colors of beads. So I went ahead and ordered us some of those too. But this chart is available on my shop. So it's an older one. I know it, I, I don't want to open Michelle. Copyright 2011, so seven years old. And I was able to get some more. So it, I just think it's cool. It's pin -up -y and I've shown it before. Um, but it says Golden Girls Apples, which I love the Golden Girls. And I now love mirrors, so there you go. So there are some of those on the shop. Um, and you can stitch along with the Michelle Bendy Stitchy and myself. I don't know when we'll start. Like I said, we may start in Minnesota. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to stitch on retreat. Uh, I keep saying that. I'm going to take I Love a Parade. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take a couple small things. I don't know what else. Okay, here's some quick shop haul. And this will be another short video because, um, yeah, I've got stuff to do. I've got homework to do before I go see a great movie tonight. Uh, this is Cottage Garden Songbird Series number four. This is the Robin. It's, it says Hope. I mean, so cute. These require, this one does not take as many colors as the previous ones have. But it's beautiful. So I've got that one in. What else we got? Okay, we got the Brenda Gervais that uh, many of you, you guys have seen these, but I didn't go to market last year because I wasn't set up to yet. Um, so I'm not on pre-order with her stuff, so it takes me like two weeks longer than everybody else to get it, but that's okay. I appreciate those of you who are um, super loyal to my shop and patient because you know I'm going to get it. If you can wait just a little bit, I'll get it. And then after March of this year, um, I'll be good to go with that once I get in front of Brenda and get everything set up I need to for autos. So, the cat in the moon. I'm not a cat person. I always say that. I say that, but I'm stitching a lot of cat stuff. But I love animals wearing clothes, and she has a fancy collar and a cute little hat on. So, that's probably going to happen. Autumn in Baltimore. I've got summer and spring. You guys have seen those. They're available on the shop. That's autumn. Bittersweet and broomsticks. So cute. Priscilla, her waist isn't quite as small as the other one, so it doesn't look like she's, you know. You can tell that this is a waist in her arms and that, that negative space is not her bosom. But I love it. I love it. So cute. And then, basket full of autumn. So cute. Okay. And then, let's, let's see. Sorry, I don't have all this stuff set out. I got all the Bent Creek rows, um, most all of them. So, you guys have seen all these two Spooky Row. So cute for Halloween. These are the ABC type sampler -y rows. Autumn Row. The Let Us Be Thankful Row should already be on my site. Summer Row. I do like that one. Christmas Row. It's getting close to time. Yvonne reminded us we only have 12 weeks left. And Spring Row is the cardstock, which I like these kind better. But they're older printings, but I like them. And they're super, super easy to read. The font is real big inside, which is helpful for my old eyes. Um, those, and then, like I said, I um, Happy Christmas is currently out of stock, but I'm on back order for that. And the Let Us Be Thankful Row and the Wedding Row. The wedding, the wedding row says, of my love, be sure, or something like that. I love it. Um, those are already on the shop from last the last update. So you can find all the Bent Creek rows there. And the last one that I want to show you I am obsessed with, and I have since ordered myself. And by way of myself also, you guys, I have ordered quite a few of this, this um, designer. 
Lily Violetta. I know many of us have seen these, but until I actually had my hands on one, I didn't know how much I loved them. So this is being started after my thankful row. Look at that. So the cool thing about this is this chart, which I'm not going to open this one, and mine is already in a, a project bag in the living room. Um, there are just paper charts. However, they're color. And this is the key. So the chart is is charted where instead of having a symbol, you just have the color in the square that goes in the square. And that is like super helpful and easy to me. It helps it helps me. And this chart is not huge. It's 158 by 171, so not small. There's quite a bit of negative space in the middle, but can you stand it? I mean, little girl birds, a bird with a letter. Um Santa with skinny little striped legs. I love this. So if this is something you're into, I've added it to the shop and I have many more of her Christmas designs on the way. That's as far as I went was, was Christmas. I didn't order Halloween. I didn't order the autumn ones because let's be honest, most of us need to be starting on Christmas stitching if we're going to do that. And I will order more of those later. But for just the first run to see um, how they are received with you guys, um, I ordered more. But can you stand it? There's another one that says, like, sweet. I want to say it's like wishing the sweet holiday. Something like that. I'll have it in my next video because it'll be here by then. But the whole outside of this wreath is um like cupcakes and different sweet candies and I never really got like the decorating a Christmas tree with candies until I was in Hobby Lobby and saw one done and it was like all with like lollipops and wrapped candies and it was so cute so I'm looking forward to doing that one too so Lily Violetta or Violet I don't know but I think you'll really like the content of the chart like I said I mean you there's nothing worse than you get a chart and it's like a line straight up is this color and a line at a 45 degree angle is this color and two dots straight up which looks like a line after you've been staring at your charts for a really long time is this color. I love that it's just blocked out just like you see it and it's DMC and what is that like 13 colors happening. So that's it. That's my shop update. That's my stitchy update. That's my life update. Um, I will um, try to get up on the Instagrams and um, share my thoughts on A Star is Born. It's, I've got it built up in my head quite a bit, y'all. I really do. But I think it's going to be great. So, have a wonderful weekend. I love y'all. Um, floss Clubbers, your Floss Club should be to you no later, probably tomorrow, maybe Monday at the latest. Um, that's all coming to you. I have a ton of new things that I've ordered this week uh, to come into the shop. I'm just waiting for those to get here. Um, just to recap, if you want to grab that Golden Girls Apple while it's still in print, as far as I know it still is, I do have that on the site. And Michelle uh, Garrett and I will be stitching that along. I don't know when we're going to start because we have to live to be 300. We all know this. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.